This data had to do with his life, his birth, his activity, as described a few moments ago. Larry, what did you find regarding the information I sent to you on Clyde McGee? Well, just listing the words, we did find uh, a quick cross, crossing the words McGee and spacecraft in Hebrew. All right, now. Now, he has not heard this before. You've this not seen is it news, news Clyde. This is all a surprise to you. Have been crying in a minute. Well, maybe so. But Psalm 139, 16 says, uh, All the days ordained for thee were written in thy book before one of them came to be. Now, that's talking about everybody. Not just high-level senior scientists such as yourself, but every person created has all of his days known, ordained, and apparently recorded somewhere. We believe that is in the Bible code. Now, let me show you something interesting about this search. After we crossed those two words, McGee and spacecraft, we found on top of it immediately in text, shine as the brightness of the firmament, which is kind of interesting. If you know what firmament is, the Hebrew for firmament is rakia, and those are all those celestial bodies and things out there we call the, uh, leading into what we call the canopy. Uh, and as the stars, as the stars, almost touching the exact intersection of those two words. In addition, around that cluster, we found NASA, satellite, Goddard, your birth date. You found Clyde McGee's birth date? Your birth date, yes sir, right here, in Hebrew. Uh, we found um, Clyde McGee's CINCOM, the satellite you mentioned earlier. The word CINCOM is spelled out here. Uh, we found Kate Kennedy. Uh, we found as the stars, and we found the word launch. Now, now you want me to tell him what's really special about this? Okay. Underneath this cross, right here at this point, where the density is the highest, just happens to be the passage, Daniel 12, 4. Daniel 12, 4. You're probably familiar with this, and I'm sure many of our viewers are at home. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Now, this is one of the scriptures we refer to as to why the codes are concealed. Seal the book even to the time of the end, which we believe we're approaching. Okay, it didn't say forever. It said until the time of the end, and perhaps we're getting near that time. Knowledge shall be increased. That is an exclamation point. This is the man who physically launch directed the launch of help prepare help organize the structure that made possible the global communication system whereby every few months our knowledge doubles we're able to view all of planet earth wherever we want on planet earth we're able to talk by cell phone clyde god foreknew in advance and wrote in his book in code your name, your birth date, and if Larry had had time, I have no doubt your wife's name is there. I have no doubt your parents' names are there. All of the satellites. All of now that that brings us to this. Uh, so here's the primary text in Daniel chapter 12, and also mentioning, and the king shall do according to his will, the king of Jordan, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And finally, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the end of time. Now, that is probably your primary page, but there's more involved than this. I gave him more information, like you're speaking to uh, King Hussein. Uh, show him what you found in Job and where it was found, please. Okay, now blocking the computer out so it couldn't see this anymore and forcing it to look elsewhere, we found another cross, McGee and Satellite. Okay, those two words crossed in Job chapter 12. Around it, we found Jordan King, we found Sincom again, we found Nations, we found Queen. We f Queen of Nations, I believe you mentioned that was the name, the, uh, the code name for that satellite. We found NASA spacecraft listed, uh, here they are. Uh, in the book of Job, an interesting uh, of thought is, it speaks of the same words about truth and knowledge. And I personally believe that we know wisdom comes from the Lord. I personally yes. believe that knowledge and creativity comes from the Lord as well. Yes. Historically, you look at the creations that have been done, and you notice they've always kind of been in the hands of the, uh, the, the, the Christian folk. Oh, speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee. Who knoweth 
No, not all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this. With him is wisdom and strength. He has counsel and understanding. He discovereth deep things out of darkness. He increaseth the nations. Let's emphasize in Job chapter 12 the point that has just been mentioned in Scripture by Larry. It has to do with the fact that knowledge shall increase, and it has to do that deep things will come out of darkness. Clyde McGee, our special guest today, has been involved in that program. His name is written there. He's a special individual, but let me be honest with you. Larry's a special individual, but let me be additionally honest with you. You are a special individual. If you had been the only person ever to have been born, Jesus Christ would have died for you as he did for all of us. Both of these men have personally received Jesus Christ into their hearts to save them from their sins. They know Christ. They're special, but you're special. No less special than they. Wouldn't you do as they? They've led the way. These are brilliant minds. So let them teach you. Wouldn't you, as they have done, wouldn't you just bow your head and pray this prayer? Dear God, I know I'm a sinner. I know that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Cover my sins with your blood. I receive you as my personal Savior. Right now, this moment, I'll serve you with all my heart. I trust that you prayed that prayer. I trust you learned today that God knows everything. He even encoded these incredible points of information about these wonderful people in his book, The Bible. That book is truth.